Hello and welcome to More Than Organized Monday. I am so glad you are here. I'm Miriam. Um, and today we're going to talk a little bit about working smarter, not harder. Um, it's one of those things that happens all the time. Um, we get excited about something and we jump right in. But really, working smarter is about knowing that the decisions are where the energy leaks out of a project. It is decision fatigue that can set it into free fall. And it's where the most amount of energy is actually wasted. And so by making as many decisions ahead of time as possible, you really set yourself up for success and the project is much more likely to go smoothly. So it's going to change the way you experience work, really. Um, and it's a very simple, um, process that I love to make into a game because it'll help you have more fun while you're doing it. And it'll help you practice the whole process of working smarter. So there's three steps in any kind of work that needs to be done effectively. We need to know um, your desired outcome. We need to know the tools you need to get the job done or as much of that as possible. You need to know the steps that will get it um, that will get it done. So again, you may not know all of this ahead of time, but as much as you possibly can know, and then you work from there. So two kind of warnings. One, when you jump into something without having these things ready, you might actually have to redo things. You probably will have to redo things because new things are constantly coming into the process. New information is gathered, new or revealed, um, and you need to be able to adjust. And when you pre plan too much or start without really kind of laying it out on paper, you might not recognize those adjustments as they come at you. Um, and then the other thing is putting something off, like not even getting started on a project until you think it's perfect. By the time, well, nothing's ever perfect. So by the time that comes around, it's no longer going to be relevant. So splitting the difference is having a flexible framework around the work you do that can grow and adjust and adapt to changes as you go. So it's not to say that you don't have to know everything. It is that you need to know enough to keep it from going off the rails and enough to begin practicing making the decisions and shaping the outcome a little bit more. It becomes so much easier to adopt when you actually have some sort of framework to weigh it against and to slot information into or new ideas into. And it makes it so you are more open to the right kind of feedback and um, the evaluation process at the end of a project. So the second, okay, so that's, you need to know where you want to go, right? That desired outcome. Why are you doing this thing in the first place? That's the first thing you got to think about. Why am I doing this? How does this fit into my overall um, goals, hopes, dreams, values, whatever it is? How does this fit? Why am I doing this particular project or task. And then you want to document the resources you have, the tools, if you will, who are the people, the money, the actual physical tools or software or um, knowledge that you need to have when it and the time to pull it off, right? So you need to get that stuff together. And then you're prepared for the next time you do something. Most things we have to do at least part of the process is repeatable. So anytime you can do that, you make it easier for next time, which is again, another piece of working smarter. Um, and then you need to document the steps. What do you think is gonna happen? Think about it on something easy, like making dinner or um, packing for a trip or heck, just making a peanut butter sandwich, right? What do you need to do to make a peanut butter sandwich? Well, you need to have some bread, some peanut butter, some jelly on hand a knife, maybe some chips. I don't know what kind of sandwich you make, but you need to have the ingredients, the tools, the resources, and then you have to know what step to do things in. You don't start with the jelly, you start with the bread, right? So that 
needs to be documented as well. And as you go, as new things occur to you or reveal themselves, you change the order of the steps or you add in or subtract out steps that aren't necessary anymore. So it becomes about practicing and evaluating what happened and adjusting at the end of each work session during a project and at the end of a project, documenting anything you'd like to change for the next time you do it. Okay, that's my best suggestions on working smarter, not harder is let's make it repeatable whenever possible and work with a flexible framework that gives you enough structure to not go off the rails. Okay, so I will see you next week. In the meantime, don't forget to like, follow, share, tell all your friends and have a delightful day.